What's going on? What's going on? Manny Pacquiao supposedly getting stripped. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. All right, supposedly Manny Pacquiao, uh, when it comes to the WBA, um, he has you know some choices to make. Supposedly, um, you know, in this next fight, um, if the, he quote decided to fight a Conor McGregor, um, that he would be stripped of his belt, and um, I guess. Other guys would be fighting for that particular belt. But um, unless he fights somebody that is in the top 10 um, and within, I guess, a certain amount of time. And I guess Mikey Garcia is, quote, in the top 10 in the WBA. So if he fights a Mikey Garcia in the next couple of months or in the first half of next year or whatever, um, he would be fine. And he'll be able to keep his belt. And he'd be good. A um, couple of things. Number one, I didn't think, I'm not, I'm not sure about them forcing the super champion to fight anybody when in the WBA. That's my first thing. I'm not sure about that. I could have swore there was something about how the WBA didn't really have, you know, they weren't going to, quote, necessarily force the super champion to fight someone. But I'm sure they do have mandatory. So I'm probably completely wrong with that. So, you know, don't take me as my word is wrong with that. I could have swore I heard something like that, that when it came to the super champion. Um, but I also remember, well, eh, he was hurt. I was going to say um, Keith Thurman, you know, being able to you know hold this belt for a long time without defending it, but technically, I guess he was hurt. Um, the WBC belt got stripped from him, but he was able to keep the WBA. Um, two things: number one, I don't think Manny Pacquiao would give two ish. <laughs> That's the number one thing. Um, he, if he was able to do a Conor McGregor fight, which I don't believe is going to happen whatsoever. If he was going to be able to do a fight like that, that's easy bread. You know, if they, especially if they can get twenty million plus for it, um, if he was get, able to get something like that, that's twenty million plus for a, a easy fight for a, not even a sparring session. You know, so I don't think he'll give two ish about that belt in a situation like that. They can fight for some weird WBC you know belt that they just had to make up, like the Weed Show belt and the belt that you know why, um, uh, what's his name got uh, when they fought. Uh, Floyd Mayweather and um, Canelo Alvarez when they fought and they got a belt they can fight for one of those weird belts some you know whatever belt I don't know we chose number two belt or something like that put some rhinestones or whatever on it the new the Filipino Irish belt or something and it'll be cool and they'll be happy with that he's not gonna care because at the end of the day with the amount of funds and finances you'll be able to get for a fight like that he's gonna keep that you know he's gonna make sure he gets that and then after that, he can still go do a, um, uh, a fight against, like, let's say, Earl Spence and make finance off that or just go ahead after that fight of Mikey Garcia anyway. You know, the belts, they don't hold the same weight as they held in the past at all, especially with somebody on the caliber that he's at right now. That belt don't mean nothing. Like Floyd Mayweather said, used to always say, them, you know, them belts, can, you know, all they do is collect dust. So if his plans don't align with what the quote you know, the belt hold, you know, hold the commissions or whatever, you know, want to do. He can, they can come get it. They can come take it. He did, he did not care. He did not care whatsoever. So it all really depends, you know, um, if that fight was to happening, if they did it, they did it. But I don't think that fight's happening. Um, number one, that fight's not as big as people want to think it is. Manny Pacquiao is not Floyd Mayweather. Okay. And we've already seen this song and dance before. You can trick people once with something. You can't do it twice. You know, Floyd Mayweather retired. He was minding his own business. Conor McGregor started talking. Of course, everybody hates Floyd Mayweather so bad, they just close their eyes to, like, reality. <laughs> you know, and they just let whatever conceptions they want to put on him just spew into their bodies. All right? So he's scared. He's this and that. Kind of can't get him. Kind of boxes also. He used to be a boxer. He just doesn't do MMA. He'll be able to do this and that. They believed it. Oh, Connor's way bigger than him, even though Floyd was fighting guys 20 plus pounds bigger than him on a consistent basis almost for his entire career. You know, look how much bigger Connor is. And then also the part that people were banking on is that the long layoff. Floyd had had a long layoff. So people were figuring he's not going to be the same. He's in his in his 40s. He's just not going to be the same fighter. Connor could actually have a chance of doing this. This is what all the MMA people thought. All the MMA world, this is what they thought. So they're willing to bet on their guy. And because people are willing to bet on their guy, Floyd was like, okay, 
these dudes are really thinking this is some kind of real fight. Okay, let me go collect my $300 million. And that's what happened. He went over there. He played around with the dudes for a whole bunch of rounds. And finally got serious. Started to beat the brakes off the dude. And it got stopped. And he got a good $300 million for easing out of work that he didn't even really have to train for like that. And got financially paid big time for it. That was it. You can do that one time. You get one chance to do that. Everybody already knows what's going to happen. Not only all the boxing public knows what's going to happen, all the MMA people knows what's going to happen. All the casuals know what's going to happen. They already know. So since they already know, it's just not going to be as much appeal with that. Even right now, Manny Pacquiao is pulling in, what, 700,000 pay-per-views against, um, against uh, Keith Thurman? He pulled in, like, what, 400,000 against Adrian Broner? Floyd Mayweather could came back, fight one of those two exact same people, and he's doing a million pay-per-views right now. It's just, it's, again, because he's been away for a while, he hasn't fought for a long time, so if he came back, people would be like, hmm, you know, we don't know what he's going to be able to do because he's had such a long layoff. I don't know what, how old he's right now, 42, 43, something like that. They're going to think, now nah, one of these dudes who have been fighting can get him, especially Keith Thurman. They'll probably believe he can get him. Keith Thurman just needs like one little fight. Or if he came and fought with any one of these other guys, people think he's going to lose. He's doing a million plus, period. You know? But in this situation, man, he's been active. You've seen what he did to Keith Thurman. You know, we saw what he was able to do against Adrian Broner. No one's going to believe that Conor McGregor has any chance to get against him whatsoever. And for whatever reason, since his loss to Floyd Mayweather, that mystique is just not there anymore at all. So it's just not as big as a fight. And Dana White's not going to put himself into a position, into a situation where he has to share money with other people for a two million pay-per-view fight. He can do two million with Conor McGregor against his own fighters. And then he doesn't even have to pay his fighters. He robs the hell out them dudes. So he's making a substantial amount of money off having Conor McGregor fight other people anyway. So he's not going to do that again. If somebody's going to capitalize off a of Conor McGregor fight, he's going to make sure it's the UFC and he's going to make sure it's himself. Okay? Period. Unless something is a three, four million pay-per-view fight, he's not doing it. And honestly, you know, he's not doing it. You know, and he's not sharing. He can do a two million pay per view bout without Manny Pacquiao, which means he banks substantially more money, substantially more money, because he doesn't have to pay these people what he what Manny Pacquiao would have to get paid. And Manny Pacquiao said he's not doing that fight anyway unless he's you know he's doing, it's a joint promotion. You know, he's not gonna do it unless it's that. So. I don't see that fight happening. I see him coming back. I see him fighting Mikey Garcia. Um, that, you know, a chill little bout where he gets paid a good amount of money for. Easy 12-round decision for him. He might even stop Mikey the way Mikey was looking, shaking his last fight with Vargas. And then after that fight, I think he goes on to fight Earl Spence in a huge pay-per-view next year. Hopefully with the crowd and everything there and about where they probably sell over a million pay-per-views. And what, you know, could be the biggest fight of next year, you know, if somehow Anthony um, Wilder versus uh, Fury doesn't happen. That's the only other fight I think might be. It might not even be as big, you know. Earl Spence versus Manny Pacquiao probably actually would be the biggest fight next year when it comes to gate, if we have, have real gates, and when it comes to pay-per-views. That's a million-plus pay-per-view easy fight right there. Biggest fight of the year. So... What the WBA, though, thinks at the end of the day doesn't mean nothing. Because if Manny Pacquiao did have that opportunity, he's going to say, F you, keep your whack-ass belt, I'm going to go get this cash. Money. But for now, like, subscribe, share, I'm out.